Welcome to Trekking the World, an adventure game for one to five trekkers. In this game, you'll have a friendly competition where you and your friends visit the world's most popular destinations from the comfort of your own home. To win, prove you're the most experienced traveler by moving around the map and scoring these prestigious victory points. You'll be collecting victory points by visiting various destinations and collecting victory cards, by picking victory point tokens while touring various destinations, and by collecting various sets of souvenir cubes, as well as by collecting souvenir tiles, and finally, by gaining region bonus tokens by collecting the last souvenir from a region. On their turn, each player will trek and choose. To move, the player must discard trek cards from their hand to move to another location. Each player starts the game with three of these cards. The game should be set up on the table, and it should look something like this. Ensure that each stack of cards is appropriately shuffled. On the table, there will be the main map surrounded by all the other components for the game. Each player is then given their suitcase mat and their reference card, as well as a trekker token placed in an airport. There are also souvenir cubes on the map, based on the player count. There are region bonus tokens placed throughout the board and there will be three separate stacks of cards and tiles around the board as well. The destination cards will be shuffled and the top four will be turned face up. The same goes for the Trek card deck. There will also be four souvenir tiles face up. However, these are never replenished. Every turn, players must discard at least one Trek card to move to a different location. Each Trek card has an icon and a number. The number is the number of locations the Trekker can move on the map. The icon is used to take a tour and claim destination cards, as well as activate journey cards. These cards are either one or the other. It's either two movement or one camera. It can never be used for both. To move, players must reveal one or more trek cards from their hand with a combined value that equals exactly the number of connections separating them from the location that they plan on moving to. When they do this, they collect the souvenir cube from the location that they end their turn in. When collected, these go into their suitcase into the leftmost open slot. These will award the player points at the end of the game based on how full their suitcase is. If you have the most souvenirs of a type, you can collect the souvenir tiles for that color souvenir. But remember, if someone else collects more than you, they can always take that tile away from you. If you collect the last souvenir in a region, then you'll also get the region bonus token, which has bonus points that you'll count at the end of the game. After you move, you must choose one of three other actions to take. You may draw two cards from the face-up trek cards. You may take a tour of a destination using your trek cards while your trekker is in that destination. Or you may journey and activate one of the available journey cards by revealing two trek cards from your hand with matching icons. These are then discarded, and the player performs the action described on the journey card. The game ends when five of the six region bonus tokens are claimed or a player collects their fifth destination card. Then the player who triggered the end game finishes their turn and the game ends immediately. Players then add up their victory points from the region bonus tokens as well as their victory point tokens, their destination cards toured, and their souvenir sets collected in their suitcase. There will also be a bonus awarded for the player with the most souvenir tiles collected. The player with the most victory points at the end of the game wins. And that's how you play Trekking the World. Tell us in the comments below where your favorite place to travel is, but please stay inside. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming.